Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16. We're starting a brand new career mode here today. A My Player career mode. Finally got around to starting one. And let's get straight and right into it now, shall we? If this video can hit 400 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode instantly. If not, you're just going to have to wait a little bit longer for the next episode. So guys, welcome to My Player career. Just using a pretty default looking guy. We're going to have four matches in today's episode episode the first of which is for Australia we're going to be versing Sweden we also have a couple of matches within the A League so basically the goal and the main objective for this my player career is to become a professional footballer of course and join some of the best sides in the world what the end goal is I want to either be playing for at the end Manchester United Real Madrid Barcelona or Bayern Munich maybe Manchester City will just have to see so basically in this first episode as I am Australian I'm born in Australia I'm going to be playing for the A League and normal career mode start in July in the A League it starts in September so it starts a pretty pretty late in football so once we hit January I'm gonna request a transfer and we're gonna see if we can make our big leap over to Europe and see if anyone wants to pick me up if not um, we might stay in the A-League for another season. But I will hand in my transfer at the end of this episode. So in the next, you'll just have to see who I signed for because it's going to be incredibly interesting. So we've got four matches in today's episode. We're going with some of my celebration finishing moves here. Ronaldinho is my favorite player in all of football. So I really do like the Samba dance and I obviously do like his... Uh, free kick stance and whatnot. Also, in previous my player career modes in my FIFA 15, uh, this is what I did. I played for Melbourne City like I am now. I don't really like the A League in real life, so I don't want to spend too long here. So hopefully, we can get um, a pretty good uh, goal tally stacked up and attract some interest from uh, uh, teams overseas. So, basically what I did in my FIFA 15 one, I played for Melbourne City, I handed a transfer, actually went to Everton, uh, played a couple of seasons with Everton, then moved to Chelsea, and once I won the league with Chelsea, I moved on to Barcelona, and I ended the series there. So, hopefully a similar thing could quite possibly happen. Um, they've sort of nerfed the starting overall for my players obviously you can buy them in the catalog with your points uh, so in FIFA 15 if you bought all the stuff you could start as a 76 rated player you can't do that in FIFA 16 so you start at 71 so it's going to be a little bit longer before we start going up in stats so I chose Melbourne City I don't really know why. I don't support any A-League teams, to be quite honest. I think the A-League is a fucking embarrassment to football, and I don't support it at all. I really, really dislike it. But I'm 18 years of age, obviously picked the youngest. I'm 5 foot 11 uh, in the game, and in real life I'm 6 foot. But uh, 5 foot 11, you get some really good speed bonuses in the game. But uh, not much competition for the starting striker position. But hopefully we can have some fun in the A leg. I don't want to spend too long here. And then we'll hopefully move on to bigger and better things. So it's completely up to the game. I have no idea who I'm going to sign for. If anyone wants to sign me, will I make a move to the Premier League, which I'd really like to do? Maybe we might go to France, Italy, Spain. Who knows? It's completely up in the air, of course. And I really can't wait to, to show you guys my player journey. So... Instantly, we're picked in the Australian <laughs> um, national squad, which is interesting. Now, I did want to play the first match against Norway. I'd rather play the match against Sweden, play against Lata and Ibrahimovic. That would be an absolute uh, dream of mine. So, basically, where I want this series to go, I either want to end up at Manchester United, because I do support them, or Real Madrid or Barcelona, and hopefully we can win the league. Or we might even do like a circuit around the world, try win the Premier League, try win... The French League, the Italian League, the Spanish League, the German League. We'll just have to see. But guys, if you are enjoying this series and want to see more of it, a great way for me to gauge your support is by leaving a like and a comment and obviously subscribing. Now, I don't want to go with the my player camera angle. I did actually change that. So um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is playing up front, but I'm on the ball here, breaking away just before the 14th minute, and I've got to obviously sort of change my commentary perspective, saying I instead of the player name. But we managed to make it 1-0 against Sweden just before the 15th minute. I'm playing up front here, breaking away. Uh, hopefully I've become sort of like a new Tim Cahill, but we'll just have to see. So our first match of... 
the FIFA 16 My Player Career. We're playing for Australia. I am the number seven. And we managed to make it 1-0 against Sweden. So that's a hell of a... Hell of a feat, to be quite honest. Mind you, it is a, a friendly. From the throw-in, I throw it to uh, one of my teammates here. Get back on the ball, dribbling. Plays it in, and uh, my teammate blasts it over the bar, unfortunately. So this won't affect my other FIFA 16 career modes. And obviously, my Football Manager 2016 career is still going to be doing a lot more of it. But Larsen on the ball here, trying to get Sweden back in. It finds Larsen again on the counter-attack here, just before the 73rd minute. Put in a pretty nice superb through ball. And unfortunately, my Aussie counterpart manages to absolutely bury it wide. And we managed to scrape a 1-0 victory over Sweden. And I managed to swap my shirt with Zlatan. And he most uh, happily accepted. So we have a couple of matches coming up in the A-League. We're playing p against Perth Glory, and uh, I, I went with Melbourne City because they are an, affili an affiliate club of Manchester City and uh, New York City in real life. So maybe, who knows, maybe the Manchester City scouts might try and uh, pick me up, hopefully, but I uh, don't really recognize many players in the A-League. Um, what Schmelz used to play for Perth, or he, he might do now anyway, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of good players in the A-League, but I just... I just watched the Premier League, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but I get tackled here pretty early on, and we managed to give away a free kick. I'm going to call for it short, and hopefully I can score my first A-League goal in Australia. But he blasts it straight over the crossbar. I'm back in the ball here just before the 21st minute. Get a cracking shot off, but it just goes wide of the goalkeeper. But to no avail. Simpsy back on the ball on the stroke of half time. What can he do? Uh, he still managed to maintain possession, gets the finesse off, and uh, it's going to be a little bit boring from time to time in these matches for, for my player. Obviously, I'm only um, controlling my own player. That's what I think I'm going to be doing for the entire series, but if you guys would like me to control the whole team, let me know in the comments, but a really poor performance there from Melbourne City. We definitely should be 1-0 up against Perth here, but Perth on the counter-attack, determined to break the nil, nil dr uh, deadlock. Abs oh my god, I nearly said fucking dreadlock again. If you guys were watching my Real Madrid, I think it must have been Real Madrid or Manchester United, I kept on saying dreadlock over fucking deadlock in uh, Season 9. I I'm sure some of you who watched that just had a bit of a chuckle there, but unfortunately... We managed to go 1-0 down to Perth on my debut just before the 80th, and we get sent off the pitch. Um, well, not really sent off, commanded off the pitch because we have used too much of our stamina. I need to keep an eye up on that. So unfortunately, in the A-League, I was banging it out. We managed to lose 1-0 against Perth. We didn't get picked in the next match against Brisbane Raw, and we unfortunately managed to lose another match. We lost two in a row, so we're not doing the best down in Australia. Maybe nobody will, will want to sign us, but I will be handing my transfer at the end of the episode. We will be in January, and uh, hopefully you can spend the second half of the season in Europe somewhere. I did simulate a lot of the matches in the A-League because, to be quite honest, I just don't want to play them, but we get a really nice shot off here against uh, Sydney. We managed to make it 1-0. I put in most of the heavy lifting, the hard yards here. We managed to make it 1-0 just before the 11th minute. It was an absolute fucking cracking shot against Sydney here. And uh, my teammate manages to pick up the crumb. Simpsy back on the ball, determined to get on the score sheet. He picks up some more reactions there. But uh, I still managed to maintain possession. Can I score my first goal for Melbourne City? I get tackled in the box. Pretty controversial there. Tracking back. Trying to get the ball in front. Simpson on the ball. Cuts back inside. He's in the penalty area. Can he get a finesse off? He does. He lashes it. Hits the side netting. And does the Ronaldinho Samba tribute. And makes it 2-0 against Sydney. And I managed to score my first goal in the A-League for Melbourne City. So hopefully now some other uh, um, teams will, will want to sign me. Maybe you think, oh, he's, he's quite a talent. 19 years of age. I just pick the youngest, so I'm, I'm worth a lot more, of course. But unfortunately, because I'm using so much stamina in these matches, I keep on getting uh, substituted off in the, what, 80, 70th minute. We have the, la uh, the, the fourth and final 
match in today's episode against Adelaide United away. And we really need to bag a couple of goals if we're going to make an impression on the world stage and uh, attract some clubs. But a nice couple of cutbacks here against Adelaide breaking away and a top-notch save from the Adelaide goalkeeper. From the corner kick, a ball gets played out. Simpsy back on the ball. And uh, trying to get back to it with a really nice back heel from my Melbourne City counterpart. I managed to make it 1-0 just before the 14th. Celebrate in front of the camera. And we're 1-0 up against Adelaide here today. So, pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully I can bag a couple more. But uh, we'll just have to see if I can pull off a, a good transfer. So we've scored two goals in the A-League. We've already scored one on the international stage. We've had our first international cap against Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Sweden and scored. I was trying to say Sweden and scored, but I said Sweden in the one word. Oh, Christ. It's a little bit late in Australia right now. I do apologize. So we're going to be offering our services up. Uh, we're currently a 73 rated player, but last time in FIFA 15 when I handed in my transfer in January, we were a 76 rated player. So hopefully we can uh, yeah, get a good transfer in the next. So you just have to stay tuned to see who I transfer, or maybe I'm, I'm stuck in Melbourne for a little bit longer. Guys, it is time to end the first episode here. If you have enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and leave a comment. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time a video goes out, a tweet goes out, it's a much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. I don't spam Twitter, except, obviously, for my uh, my videos. So it's much more uh, reliable. Highly recommend you go make an account if you haven't already. Facebook's always good. Instagram as well if you want to go check out some photos from my European gap year. But I have to end it here. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. If this video can hit 400 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer. Stay tuned for some more FIFA 16 career modes. Um, obviously more my player. And we've also got some more Football Manager 2016 coming out soon as well. So... Thanks once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. My name is Bean Simsy. Cheers. Take care. Goodbye.